I have witnessed you. Every time I see you, meet you, work with you, you are, you've always got this energy of being on it, on it, on everything. You see everything, you, you, you are able to do that expansion of big vision and then come right back to the right now. And you're always driven and motivated. Um, it's just in your energy, it's, it's not for show, it's just who you are. What, what drives you? What keeps you sharp and on it in the way I've witnessed? Um, I'm very proud of what we do in our industry and I'm very proud of providing great service and great quality. I'd like to think that when I look at something, it's all about, am I proud of that? Does that inspire me? Am I happy with that? Is that going to be good enough? And I think you know, whatever business you're involved in, if you can give it uh, 100% and you get your people around you to think like that, then the pieces fall into play. And I've seen it over many types of different uh, businesses where I've had customers that have followed me from various hotels. And it all comes down to those relationships. And you surround yourself with people that have positive attitude. I, I do do not want to work with people that drain my energy, that don't see the, the, the positive. And let's be honest, there are people there and it takes time. And a culture doesn't happen overnight. And I think that culture comes down to behavior. You know, behavior breeds behavior. And I'm a big believer in, I've got to demonstrate those traits myself. And if I walk around not believing it myself, how can I get other people to believe? And those values, um, are something that as, as, as a kid growing up, my parents were big influencers in terms of your values and how you operate and how you treat people. And I always remember my dad um, was a vet in Ireland and we used to go out on the farms and he would, he would, he would um, go testing cattle. And I always remember one day he stopped at a shop and he bought a loaf of bread and he bought a pint of milk and he bought some some butter and some cheese. And I was thinking, well, is he going to make me a sandwich? See, and <laughs> got to this farm and this poor lady had about 30 head of cattle and was living on the bread line. And he had bought her the bread to give to her and the milk because he knew. Now, he didn't have to do that. And I suppose it's those little moments of kindness, those acts of kindness and in what I do and what we do in the hospitality world, I think it's about identifying those magic moments. And you know what? Sometimes it's the simplest things that we can do for people that have the biggest impact. And that's where I've seen it in the hotel here where we've had people where, you know, parents with children and you do something kind for them, whether it's a, you give them a movie, you have an elderly person who needs some help with some luggage. You've got somebody that just has had a hell of a journey and is pretty ratty. And you identify that and do something for them to help them. So it's that kind of mentality that makes and breaks, I think, what we all do. And in London, you know, I've been in London now for a number of years, there's 1,100 hotels and TripAdvisor. We all do exactly the same thing. If you think about the UK hospitality, we're all doing the same thing. It comes down to those people and what they can do what you can inspire them to, to believe and for them to become not just ordinary, extraordinary and fairly exceptional. Mm. Hello, I'm Lisa. I hope you enjoyed the film. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them in the box below. And my links to my website are below too. Have a lovely day.